So we're here at the SMMT test event at Milbert Proving Grounds. We're going to be looking at some of the latest EVs. This show has everything from electric taxis to electric Mustangs. Before we get to those though, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So this is the GT version of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is the fast one, the powerful one, the one that is similar in performance to a performance version of a Tesla Model Y and not far off a Model 3 performance. So the first thing we have to check with this car is, are we in untamed mode? Yes, we are. Grrr. So this car gives you 487 PS and 680 Newton meters of torque, which is massive. Even so, the top speed is only 124 miles an hour, but unless you're in Germany, that's probably not gonna be a problem. That power will get you to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, which, as we said, is similar to the performance version of the Tesla Model Y. And so this performance version is around a second faster than the oil drive version of the regular Mach-E. So it comes with a pretty large battery, enough for 310 miles WLTP, which is again fairly competitive with the Tesla Model Y performance. However, it's worth pointing out that that is quite a bit less than the extended range rear wheel drive version of this car. It'll, it'll charge 150 kilowatts, which means it will get from 10 to 80% in around 45 minutes. So now we're actually on the test rack, we can feel this car is quick. But will the brakes be strong enough to stop us in the corner? We'll soon to find out. The driver and passenger seats have eight way electric control. So there's a 10.2 screen behind the dashboard and a 50.5 inch screen in the center, which is around the same size as a Tesla Model Y or Tesla Model 3, but as you can see, it's portrait in orientation. So you can feel this car has got plenty of grunt up a hill that was quick and the brakes work. In fact, the brakes work a bit too much, actually. It comes with the same sunroof that we enjoyed in the original mach -E. I'm not expecting how, how much these brakes come in. They're just, just a touch and they just completely just bite which is probably what you want because this car is so quick. If I wasn't trying to present the camera, this track would be super fun in this car. This car has serious Mustang ability. We're going up a really steep hill there and it picks up like nothing. So this car more fully deserves the Mustang badge than the other versions. So how much will that all the extra performance cost you? Around 20,000 pounds more than the original. This one is just under 70,000. It comes with active whisper and untamed mode, but why would you drive this car quietly? This car does have one pedal drive for around town if you did want to use it as a Chelsea tractor. It has 20 inch cast aluminum wheels and 19 inch Brembo brakes, which is what's giving you that incredible stopping power that keeps catching me out. It does have a 360 degree camera, which will make it easy to park in tight spots. So we're now on the, the motorway loop here and it feels very sprightly. I'm doing 70 in no time at all. I'm doing 85 miles an hour now. So it doesn't feel as smooth as the EQS drop we were driving. You, it feels more like it's going 85 miles an hour than that car does, but also it's got a lot more pickup. For the audio lovers among you, it has a 10 speaker B&O premium sound system. Overall, this is an exhilarating drive for those of you with a heavy foot. We really love it. This is the closest we've felt to American muscle in an electric SUV. So another new electric vehicle from Mercedes on their stand is this the EQB. This is a mid-sized, medium large SUV, but it has a trick up its sleeve. So this car actually has seven seats. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you what that looks like. You can see them down there. So it's got these seven seats. So if I pull this up, you can probably just about see that it, they're not very large, really only for children, not very much knee room, but seven seater. So if you're after a seven seater, this is one of the first electric seven seaters from Mercedes. So this is the Genesis GV60. Uh, this is our first all-electric car, which we are launching this year. Um, we launched the brand in May last year, so we've been going for just under a year. Uh, and last year we launched five, five products in five months. Uh, so we launched the, the 280s, the G and the GV80. Then we launched the 70s, the G and the GV. Um, v is for SUV. Um, and we also launched the uh, G70 shooting brake in November last year. They were all ICE products, so petrol and diesel, and this now is our first all-electric car we are, which we are launching for 2022. We, uh, it's the first of um, three electric cars that we will launch this year, so the other two being the electrified G80 
uh, which you can see outside, and also the electrified GV70, which is our uh, mid-size SUV. But this car here is uh, the first electric car which we will be launching for, for Europe and, and the UK. Um, it's on the same platform as the Ionic 5 from Hyundai, which is just one world car of the year, and on the same platform as the Kia EV6, which won the What Car Car of the Year. So uh, we have high hopes for this car. The car itself uh, starts from 47 and 5,000 pounds on the road uh, and goes up to about 65. Um, there are three versions available. So the entry level is a rear wheel drive and it goes through to then all wheel drive and then all wheel drive performance. And the all wheel drive performance is the one that's 65,000 pounds. The all wheel drive performance uh, is the one that has uh, over 460 horsepower and will do 0 to 60. Uh, in uh, four seconds so it's fairly punchy um, and it has a, a boost function so you put the car into into sport mode and then you press the boost button and the seat belt hoiks you back in to your your seat which is kind of terrifying um, but obviously safety first uh, and I thought you know what I'll just I'll just see what this does so I put my foot to the floor and I won't lie I actually screamed like a five-year-old girl because the acceleration was so intense and I wasn't expecting it so yeah it's is punchy which is fantastic. So this is the brand new or yet to be released Sangyong Corando E-Motion. It's our first foray into the world of electric. Um, some basic headline stats about this. It comes with a 211 mile range. There are three spec levels available. We've got the entry level EX which is 3495 including the, the um, plug-in car grant. Uh, the mid spec, the Ventura which is this one here which is 34995 and then the top spec, the ultimate which is 37,995. Um, they are, there's dealer stock at the minute of the Ventura spec, but the official launch will be later in the year. We're looking at about September. So with this, so mid-spec Ventura, so we've got things, it comes with lane keeping assist, uh, lane change assist, automatic headlights, automatic rain sensing, windscreen wipers. Um, it has, what else has it got? Oh, it's got uh, three stages of regenerative braking. Um, it has the ultimate model, so the spec above this one is going to come with a heat pump on it as well, so you don't get any uh, loss due to loss of energy due to heating and cooling the vehicle. Um, yeah, very distinctive from the ICE vehicle Corando because it's got this uh, Corando badge on the back, on the chrome there. Um, and of course, we want everyone to know that it's electric, so it comes with these blue highlights. Whilst we're at the back, you might notice that it's got a tow bar on it. It's, the, it's a rare sight to see a tow bar on an electric car because this can tow up to 1,500 kg. So, uh, charging time. So, in 33 minutes, plugged into a uh, fast charger, you can go from 20 to 80%. So you say we're Maving, we're a new electric motorcycle manufacturer, a British manufacturer based in Coventry. And this is our first motorcycle, the Maving RM1. So this is a bike that's basically been designed for urban travel. So it's a 125cc equivalent, so one, it's a CBT licensed bike. And it's all built around removable batteries. So the idea that you can take the battery out and charge it like a laptop or a phone uh, overnight instead of having to worry about plugging in, you know, finding a charging station. So the battery, the, um, the bike can hold basically two batteries capacity so I'll just show you those so you've got your proprietary battery which is in this section here which is access fire button there and a second battery there so you can either have one battery and you use this for storage so you can put like a raincoat or your shopping or whatever or you plug a second battery in they run in parallel and it doubles the range so you get 40 miles per battery Otherwise, we've got, just to sort of talk you through the, the, the bike, it's very, very simple. We've got a wiring that comes back to our motor controller and 12 volt battery here. And then we've got a, a Bosch, a motor that we, can, that we developed in conjunction with Bosch. This is their first spoke motor. Um, and you know, the great thing about having a hub motor is there's no chain or oil, there's no chain tension. It's incredibly simple to maintain. So this is a kind of plug and play, simple uh, commuting bike uh, that basically makes it very accessible for customers. Uh, in terms of styling, um, we kind of looked at what the best eras of British motorcycle styling were. So our team are all ex-Triumph, led by um, Triumph's ex-head of product, 
Graham Gilbert. And we've kind of focused on two broad areas. So the board tracker era, this is when the first motorcycles were designed at the turn of the century. Uh, and they were basically converting bikes from really light bicycle frames. And then also the kind of cafe racer movement of the 60s, known for its, its visual minimalism and its kind of focus on metal work and the, you know, the kind of core core capabilities of the bike. So kind of as I said this is basically built for, for, for city, for urban travel. Um, so it, talking you through the specs, so first of all the price is just under five grand at 4995. The top speed is limited to 45 miles per hour and that's basically to preserve range. You get 40 miles from each battery so 40 with a single battery, 80 with two. So this is the RBW Roadster, uh, five years in the making. It's a UC regulated car, so we can sell them on brand new number plates. It's in a brand new body shell. It's a classic silhouette, but it's based on a modern, modern running gear. Golf type Mark 7 uh, brakes and suspension on a patented system with a motor between the rear wheels. And then we take out the engine and gearbox, that shape. We then fabricate and have a 3D printed box made, the same shape as the engine and gearbox, picking up the same strength points and we put batteries into that system and into that box. Uh, we've got a CAN system in there, crash sensors, Apple AirPlay, EVCM, we work with Hyperdrive, which are Nissan cells. Uh, we work with content and engineering services. So it's a ground up build with all OEM products. The main thing on our vehicles is, is the safety. So we've been at Myra, we've done all the testing and we believe that any car, any EV, any classic it has to have a safe regulated performance. And we see a lot of vehicles out there that haven't got that, but we've got to have a safety case. And uh, our cars have been built on that safety case. We have 42 kilowatt batteries. Where the engine was for the weight and down the tunnel, motors at the rear, we get a 50-50 weight distribution. That's important. This is a driver's car. It's not a flat floor EV. It's a driver's car, rear wheel drive, very engaging, electric power steering. And they're built to a client specification, 364 different leathers, any color you want hand-built electric cars. So this is the new shape, new version of the Kia Nero EV, which used to be called the E-Nero. It's updated in lots of different ways, so look out for a review of this coming shortly in which EV. So that's a few of the highlights of the SOMT test drive event. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.